Star Wrestling will once again return to Baltimore. Very shortly now, on Saturday night, February 7, scheduled just one week from tonight, we'll be taking another look at Lou Albano's most unusual tag team combination, the Moon Dogs. Also scheduled for tag team competition, Fred Blassie's latest find of the Hangman and Hulk Hogan meeting the tag team title holders, Tony Gurria and Rick Martell. From there, Mr. USA, Tony Atlas will lock up with Sergeant Slaughtered, what should prove to be a classic encounter. And then Bob Backlund set to defend the World Rusting Federation Championship against the number one contender, Killer Khan. Many people thinking an upset in the making here in the main event. Our first guest this week, Tony Garia and Rick Martell. And you fellas have captured so much interest in terms of the fans, not just in Baltimore, but all over the world. A tag team title offense against a newly formed combination, huge, both over the 300-pound Mark Hogan and uh, his tag team partner, the Hangman. How are you going to handle them, Tony? Well, Rick and I, we've watched uh, these guys wrestle individually, and we know very much what they're capable of. With their size, we know that they're going to be a lot stronger than us. So what we figure we would do would be to wrestle them around the legs, take their legs away from them. No matter how big you are, you can't go anywhere without your legs, and that'll be our strategy in this match. I would think that there's an advantage you fellows have, at least in one regard, and that is, of course, the teaming up. You've been partners for quite some time. Now that is an advantage. Yes, it sure is. Uh, in fact, uh, that's the way I look at it. Uh, Tony and I has been partnered for quite a few months now, and uh, we've held this belt against uh, a lot of tough teams, but I know this one, you know, I really don't uh, don't know what's in Blast's mind because he must have something behind his, his head there teaming up those two men together. You know, I don't know what they've been up to, but we'll find out in uh, Baltimore. That's for sure. Best of luck to you both. Thank you Thank very you. much. Tony Garia and Rick Martell defending the tag team title in Baltimore. But we may now, ladies and gentlemen, our guest will be Sergeant Slaughter, along with the Grand Wizard of Wrestling, and don't think that the comments of Sergeant Slaughter as of late have been falling on deaf ears. Mr. USA, Slaughter's opponent, knowing full well of every measure that is taken, be it psychological, be it physical, you can bet that Tony Atlas will be ready for you, Sergeant Slaughter. I understand that he's been going around the city of Baltimore and telling people to make signs with a name on it that I can't stand. And I'm Gomer not gonna... Pyle, is oh, that... hey, Wait a man. minute. I didn't say the name. Nobody calls me Gomer That is, that is the no name. One. I'm well... not Gomer Pyle. Do I look like Gomer? Look at my face. Get a close up on this face. Do I look like Gomer Pyle? Do I? I can't hear you. You, uh, if I ever see a sign, if I see one sign there that says Gomer Pyle, I'm gonna take and grab that sign and shove it right down whatever sign it is. I'm gonna shove it right down your throat. Oh, it makes me hot when I hear the name Gomer Pyle. My name is Sergeant Pyle. Slaughter. Oh. Sergeant Slaughter undoubtedly upset. And we'll find out just how upset uh, he remains to be as he obviously will lock up with Tony Atlas. There's no telling what will happen when he meets Tony Atlas in the special confrontation. Our guest now, Bob Backlund, the World Wrestling Federation title holder, and Bob Backlund against Killer Khan. A date drawing very, very close now, just one week from the night. What sort of strategy, without giving everything away, will we see on your part, Bob? Well, I got a, I, you know, I've been studying this man very closely on the films and on, uh, on uh, watching all of his matches, and uh, he's uh, in good condition. And I've been really working on a lot of conditioning, and uh, um, he's a strong man too, Vince. He doesn't look like he's, uh, he isn't a big weightlifter or anything, but he's got a lot of natural power in his body. And uh, I've been working on some with some big people, and uh, they've been wrestling with me and pushing me and pushing me. And I think I'm in good condition. I think I'm ready. I think I can wear this man down, although. It's not going to be no easy test. Uh, it's not going to be, you know, easy thing that, to wear this man down, but that's what I'm going to try to do, try to tire him out and try to defeat him and win and uh, be a proud man in that ring. Best of luck to you. Thank you. Bob Backlund. Unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, we are out of time. We had hoped to have with us Killer Khan. Just a minute. I want to tell you, here's the next world champion. I'm Take sorry, a look Mr. at him. Bob Backlund out here just barely talking in a whisper. He's scared. Scared. Scared.